Now you've set Scarlett as Cubase's audio device, let me show you how to record audio to a track. When opening Cubase for the first time, you'll be asked to create a project. I'm going to create an empty project and save it. To create a new track, simply head over to the plus button on the left. Making sure audio has been selected, choose your input source. Channel 1 corresponds to input 1, and channel 2 corresponds to input 2 of your Scarlet, and so on if you have a larger device. I'll be selecting channel 1 to record input 1 from my Scarlet. You can also name the track here. Now select Add Track. The Record Arm button enables a specific track to be ready for recording. Let's select the Record Arm button on track 1. Press the Record button in the Transport bar to start recording. Play your instrument or sing into the microphone connected and you'll see the waveform be recorded on the track. Testing, testing, la 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 la. Testing, one, two, three, la la. Ooh, la. To stop the recording at any point, press the space bar or the stop button. You can play back the recorded track by pressing the space bar or the play button. Testing, testing, la 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 la. Testing, one, two, three, la la. Ooh, la. To create a new audio track, select the plus button on the left making sure audio has been selected, choose your input source. Configure the input settings and you'll be ready to record. Remember, channel 1 corresponds to input 1 and channel 2 corresponds to input 2 of your Scarlet, and so on if you have a larger device. Name your track, then select Add Track. To begin recording, make sure the Record Arm button has been selected on your new track.